we are observing Comet Cheryamov Gerasime, which we deem to be the Conception Comet, as you will see in a few minutes why. And uh, this is just another verification of the Revelation 12 sign that happened in 2017, September 23rd, that that was the beginning of the seven last years on earth here before Christ comes and sets up his millennial kingdom and reigns from Jerusalem. When we see these signs in the stars, it's God telling us to look up and be watchful for our redemption draws nigh. And Christ came into the world to save men from their sin and to bring many sons unto glory. And for those who believe in the Lord, they will be changed. Their bodies will be changed to be fashioned like unto his glorious body. When Christ comes from heaven, he himself will descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel. The dead in Christ will rise, and we which are alive and remain will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. We believe that we are in the days when that's about to happen. The last seven years on earth are the finalization of Daniel's prophecy as recorded in Daniel chapter 9, uh, that Israel would be uh, given the kingdom back after 490 years. And now we see the comet shooting across the heavens, following the path of the sun, which is very unusual, and going to its main trajectory, which is in Leo, as it turns around here at the Alpha Omega point, the place where Virgo and Leo meet. Virgo is the first sign, Christ born of a virgin, coming back as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And that's how we read the heavens. You can see that the comet comes out through the loins of Jupiter, of Leo, and then escorts Jupiter into the Virgin. Once again, this is our opinion, this is our interpretation, this is how we see this. There's many other signs that are happening in the heavens that we can only give our opinion about, but we know from the scriptures that the scriptures are our final authority. And we can only, uh, you know, surmise that this is what's happening in the heavens. So we are told in the scriptures to look up and be watchful for our redemption draws nigh. Now you see the star Spica, where Jupiter is right there. And that means that, that the meaning of that word is the branch. Jesus is the branch that would come into the world and grow into a great tree that would rule the earth. He is also the seed of the woman that Genesis 3.15 tells us about. Here we have Jupiter and the comet on the throne, Libra, which we believe to be the throne. Remember, as it says in Revelation 12, the child, as soon as it was born, was caught up to the throne. So we see this whole narrative being played out over the seven years, seven last years of man's history of ruling the earth. The rulership is about to be taken away from him and given unto the Lord, and he will reign for a thousand years. And now we see that uh, we're approaching again the Golden Gate, which is where the Milky Way galaxy and the path of the sun and the planets intersect and this just happened, and now we're in 2020, and here we have Jupiter approaching 
Saturn as in facing off. Saturn represents Satan. Jupiter represents the king, Christ. And what's going to happen, we believe at that point, is that's the casting out of Satan into the earth. He will enter into a man, the last Caesar of the Roman Empire. Because the Roman Empire continues until Christ comes to destroy it. And here we have now the comet passing up Jupiter and going on as, as though it's done escorting the king planet and shoots across the heavens again and onward to, that's the Golden Gate right there between the horns, the seat of worldly power does it loop the loop if the comet is supposed to indicate that we are being raptured up into the heavens and and making that little loop the loop as though it's gotten we've gotten delivered where are we supposed to be i don't know it's just a an opinion of mine but now we see the comet going back and revisiting Virgo and going past Spica and stopping and coming back and that's what the story is all about the seed of the woman as we know in G Genesis 3:15 I will put enmity between thee and the woman between thy seed and her seed God speaking to Satan in the garden of Eden and this is all coming to a head, even now. And I just want people to be on their toes and to understand what's happening. That this is playing out, whether you know it or not. But you should be mindful of these things. Hopefully this helps people to know that our salvation is just about to happen.